Hello everyone. My name is Ko. My name is Warda. We are May. Uh, today is second part of X-ray diffraction. And then I would like to address uh, three different phenomena found in X-ray diffraction. Diffraction, reflection, refraction. refraction. Can you describe briefly? Yes, sure, Professor. So they appear at the interface between one medium and another. Uh, that's correct. So between maybe the concept of medium and another medium such as an ambiguous concept but we can define as the three states like solid gas or liquid when it comes to refraction we can say the one medium is air or gas right. and the second medium as the water or liquid states oh what are did you study in advance uh did i look like that <laughs> okay excellent so the first concept and then uh diffraction diffraction mm, i commonly use x-ray diffraction analysis professor for my sample to analyze the phase structure yes to confirm the phase structure of my sample okay next one is reflection Mm, I find myself really common to see <laughs> myself in the mirror. Mirrors. Yeah. After washing your face, right? <laughs> yeah. What about next one is refraction. Refraction. Ah, when I put my leg inside the water, then I can see my my leg is become becoming shorter. Not original short. No. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> so diffraction and then also happen. On the surface, mm. what kind of surface? Solid material have the regular arrangements of the atoms. Yeah. As we described and we studied before our first ch chapter and then. Yes. The incident beam, and then we just give a set angle, mm -hmm. and then this beam out there. Diffraction beam. beam. Yeah, diffracted beam, and then this beam. And surely they have some kind of something different. We can call this past difference. We can describe it later. Yeah. Anyway, diffraction happen on crystallographic plane. Crystallographic plane. So the diffraction beam can describe uh, which crystal structure that our sample has. Right, Professor? Right. Crystallographic plane. plane. So we know the general example. Bragg's law, right? Bragg's law. Okay, I want to give you another example. Uh, okay, for instance, this is the world. I cannot oh. see you, you cannot see me. And, mm. then, and I say something and then, but you still hear me, right? My yeah. voice. This means my voice, there is some kind of wave, and then it's moving out across this world, and you can hear my voice. Oh. This is kind of diffraction. Diffraction phenomena. Okay, I see. So another the real experiments in your high school and then mm. it's one slit. Mm. Small slit. And we just give a wave right here. Move toward the slit. Mm. After that it shows some semicircle. Semicircle. Mm. This one is a general example of the diffraction. Diffraction yeah. phenomena in them. So what about that? The wavelengths of this one incidence wave. Yeah. High. And the diffraction should be high also. Right. That's true. Diffraction also high. high. What about that? The size of the slit. Size of the slit. Slit is size slit is small and then diffraction high oh understand yes professor so what oh. about that uh in our previous lectures as a radio wave mm, radio wave am and fm fm which one is higher wavelength higher wavelength is am professor right am is high mm. so Wavelengths are high, this means diffraction. Also high. High. So that's why, and then there are some mountains, some kind mm. of barrier in the AM, 
across it. Oh, in Indonesia. In Indonesia, I usually can hear the channel from abroad, like from America, from Australia, by AM channel, Professor. Ah, really? Even United States and there? Sometimes, Professor. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> so this is uh, all phenomena related to the diffraction and then mm. the here. And then we just talking about the Bragg law. The Bragg law? Mm -hmm. Bragg's mm. law is say based upon yeah diffraction is from constructive Constru interference. Ah, then. constructive interference. 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 Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Now we just move on the reflection and then. Reflection. The one surface I want to give the horizontal, the vertical lines, mm. and then the, the incident beam, and then reflective beam. Reflected beam, and this angle, the first angle and the second angle should be identical. Yeah, should be same each other. Yeah. So, reflection appear on surface. Yeah, on the free surface. Free surface. Free surface. surface. There are two different types of reflection. Yeah. The first one is specular, specular reflection. reflection. Uh, maybe we can. And the other one. Uh, is the other one is diffuse right. reflection, professor. Specular reflection. Isn't it mirror, professor? The surface? Yes, specular reflection is mirror. You mm. look at yourself through the mirror. Through the mirror and then. Mm. And then diffuse, diffuse reflection. Mm. Oh, professor, I had experience when I polish my sample. Mm -hmm. I can even see my face on my sample if I polish it correctly. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> but if I didn't uh, polish it correctly, yeah, I cannot see it clearly. Uh, that's true. That's why. Perfect polishing mm. on your sample. Mm, this means in the specular, yeah. specular reflection. But sometimes uh, you have some kind of rounding, yeah, round. some scratches, and then you cannot see. Oh, you can, yeah, surely you can see mm. your face, mm. but it's not clear enough. Yeah, not this clear enough. This one is diffuse, diffuse di reflection. reflection. That's true. So, next concept is refractions. Refraction. And then the some some lines and also I just give the vertical lines mm -hmm. the instant beam here and then the zeta yeah after the across the line and then this one zeta prime the theta become zeta. shorter shorter Bef yeah so this should be air and then this part will be water, water. That's why, as you mentioned earlier, and then mm. your foot my, seems to be my leg, shorter, right? Yeah. Than the real one. Yes, then. than the real one. That things and then. So another example is use of prism. The prism? Mm. The one light. Yeah, white light mm. here. And then and it's moving inside and then really reflected. Refracted. It. And then we can see various various color like a rainbow. Yeah. Starting from the red one. Red one until violet. Violet. Mm. Why red one here? Because the red one has longer wavelength than oh, violet, Professor. Right. You study our previous <laughs> Of course, Professor. I watch it many times. <laughs> oh, okay. So that's why it's high. So refractive index should be should be lower. Right. So uh, uh, right. To say is low. Mm. That's why pretty straight and then. But violet wavelengths low. Low. So the reflective index should be high. High. That's why very stiff. Right. In this way and then. Mm. Some CB angle. So let me summarize these okay, light please. characteristics and then one solid panels. And then the first one. The first one. This one. What is this? Reflection, of reflection, course. Reflection, right? 
자, next one is 자, incident beam turn angle and this one. Oh, there are two phenomena, okay. professor. Right. The first one is refraction. This is refraction and transmission. Okay, transmission. Mm -hmm. right. SS. Oh, yeah. And then what about this one? So light but oh, disappear. Disappear at absorption. Absorption and then. Mm. And then this one, incident beam, absorb, but uh, in it's many scattering ways. phenomena, professor. Scattering. Scattering is very, very important. That's why I want to give you additional lecture on this phenomenon. Then. Wow. It's really interesting, professor. Right. So that's why I just prepared one very interesting portal. A flame of the sunset. Well, Professor, I really like sunset. Mm -hmm. uh, sunset reminds me of many past memories, mm -hmm. like happy memories. Uh, with your boyfriend? No, I had no boyfriends back then. No, I don't know. <laughs> so, okay, we summarized in the previous slide mm -hmm. and then five different light characteristics in them. Mm -hmm. Reflection, refraction, transmission, absorption, and scattering. Yep. What kind of phenomena involve this photo? I guess scattering, Professor. Scattering. Mm. That's why the sky seems to be very red color. Red, yeah. Yes. That's all? Mm, I think no. Anything else? Maybe refraction also, Professor. Refraction? Why? Uh, maybe it's, it's related to the wavelength of the color. So it left... Some color. No. 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 <laughs> Yo. Oh. Can you look at that? And this is sun, right? Yeah. Sun normally circle, right? Perfect circle. circle. Mm. What about that? Is it circle? Uh, no. Quite oval. Yeah. There are some kind of different things, right? Yeah. Uh, this happened by refraction. Refraction. Understand? Yes, professor. Refraction through the air. Mm. So that's why there are two things in the first one. The scattering. Scattering of light. Mm. And also refraction. Refraction. What are, you like the last photo? Yes, Professor, because I'm a fan of sunset, so I like it. Mm. Did you watch sunset many times in South Korea? Yes, Professor. I think I intentionally go out at the sunset time and look for the sunset. Mm. So waiting for the sunset, waiting for the next class, which one is better? Two of them are my favorite, so I will wait for two of them, Professor. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> so, okay, see you next time. See, see you! you.